contento de saber que and we're very motivated we know it's going to be a great fight against Juan Francisco Estrada and we hope that the fans of the world of the boxing world can enjoy this fight pueden disfrutar de esta gran pelea Um, I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm very happy and we've done a good job to show that what we have, to show that I have a special talent and I'm going to enjoy this with my family and my people. very well prepared. After my last fight, I only had two weeks of rest and then we continued camp I ha at high altitude and I'm very motivated and confident about this fight. Outside we're respectful, but inside we disrespect each other. Uh, this is going to be the best fight out of all three of them. The best one will win and I feel like the people are going to take uh, a good show. combination digging downstairs of Chocolatito. Oh, big right from Gonzalez. Being a little bit more aggressive, throwing the right punches, and not forgetting the body. Oh, big right hand from Estrada. Chocolatito fires back. In. The interesting phrase was, you need to fight like you're angry. The problem is, Chocolatito never gets angry. Estrada was a two and a half to one underdog in this fight. Chocolatito has a lot of momentum coming off that decisive win over Julio Cesar Martinez. One thing about Chocolatito is that his defense, I think, is really underrated. This fight started slow, but it's finishing fast. And there's that right hand to the gut. That set up the four punch combination upstairs. Good combination by Gonzalez. Another one. See all those punches right there, those are clean punches, those are shots. Of Chocolatito, he's found, those shots aren't landing cleanly, even though that right uppercut did. Estrada is in complete control of the fight at this point. I thought Chocolatito... In close fights, you want to bank these early rounds if you're Chocolatito. Oh. Nice one-two from Chocolatito. see a snap in the punches of Chocolatito right now either. He's pushing his shots. No one really sitting down on a punch yet either, even El Gallo. He found success downstairs right there again. That's going to open up the head shots, especially if Estrada stays against the ropes. Well, right there, it's only Chocolatito. It's only because Estrada's against the ropes. And El Gallo, nice flurry. I agree, because now we're seeing the volume that we're accustomed to seeing with Chocolatito. Roman Gonzalez. And that's the story of both these champions. It has felt like it's been all Chocolatito. The conditioning of Roman Gonzalez is just remarkable. Best round by far for Roman Gonzalez, but he's back on the ropes again. And that's the snap in the punches I want to see from Chocolatito in the first half of the fight. And you see it's Estrada doing the pressuring, backing up Chocolatito. He's just reeling. He's just uh, getting pushed back. Ten seconds to go. Estrada with a flurry. He needs maybe a little bit more than that to win this round. Beautiful combination right there. Roman Gonzalez knows how to fight, but right now, he is behind in this fight. We see a nice body shot by Chocolatito. I think that was... Neither man really all that excited to engage in their last fight. It seems like that's all they did. There's speed behind them. There's power behind them. The crowd eating this up. Either way, this fight, I promise you, will open up. And that straight right hand for Chocolatito. This is
Left scores for Chocolatito. Oh, he's pot shot each other. Oh, he caught him clean there. Chocolatito coming forward with reckless abandon. Chocolatito landing more often now. On the legs and the feet of El Gallo Estrada right now. He's been sensational, really. I, I, he's controlling this fight. And get Estrada on the back foot. That was a slip. Estrada's so shocked right now. He's pot shotting a legend in front of our eyes. As a way to kind of gather information about his opponent. He needs to concentrate on the body. There's, there's a caution in him right now. And it might have taken Chocolatito a little bit of time to get that engine running, but it's certainly running right now. <laughs> and looks good as enough because that's what he wasn't doing. Estrada's doing a nice job in this round, still fighting off the back foot. But finally we're seeing a snap in the, in the punches of Chocolatito now. There's this uh, natural raw aggression that I'm not seeing so far from Chocolatito. Where is Chocolatito finding this energy? Right now, Estrada's boxing nicely off the back foot and that body shot as well. Take a breath and punch. Take a breath and punch. That was the direction given to Estrada. In the later rounds in, the, in this fight. Oh, El Gallo sitting down on some punches, but he ate several as well. But finally, we're seeing a snap in the, in the punches of Chocolatito now. Adamant about him winning the first round. This is more like Gotti War Trilogy. These two men love each other, Chris. Forward pressure from Roman Gonzalez. Especially in close fights, especially coming off uh, the year, they can really have a serious effect on you. This is a skillful boxer versus a skillful brawler in Chocolatito. Chocolatito is catching a lot of them. This is Chocolatito right here. They both had their moments, but this was a much better start. The power puncher, so they're throwing bombs every single time. Good body shot by Estrada. There it is right there. He can throw more of those to the midsection and to the chin. A punch he's going to concentrate on. A very, very pedestrian round by the very high standards these two have set. Can Chocolatito keep up the momentum he got in the eighth round? We're getting it in the 12th! Great round for El Gallo! Perhaps it's not quite as one-sided as it appears to be here ringside. Estrada doing a nice job fighting backwards. Good right from Chocolatito. Roman, shot. Roman Gonzalez needs some sort of boost of energy. And maybe if he can land a heavy punch, it'll give it to him. Estrada has Chocolatito on the back foot right here. Is the father of Randy Caballero, the former bantamweight champion. With no return from Chocolatito, that's unheard of. And here he comes. Map is there on Chocolatito now. He's now landing the right hands like he's supposed to land. Those are effective punches right there, Todd. Chocolatito closing the gap again. This is not where Ogaio wants to be. Nice uppercut from El Gallo on the left hand. Nice combination by Gallo. Good overhand right there for El Gallo. But El Gallo fighting off the ropes. Good body shot there on the inside by Roman Gonzalez. That's the Roman Gonzalez we're accustomed to seeing. It could go either way! Who won the trilogy? El Gallo! Juan Francisco! really hard for this third fight and I think we left the result clear about who the winner was and who wants the fourth fight I think we can do it and I think the fans really enjoyed a great fight tonight it was it was a nice fight for the public
I did what I could, and well, that was the result. Gracias. Buenas noches. Dios me los bendiga. Thank you. Good night, and God bless you to everyone.